After arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister, Putin fears Shoigu's faction. The arrest of Russian Deputy Defense Minister, Timur Ivanov, on suspicion of corruption, deals a serious blow to his longtime mentor, Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu, at a time when much of the country's political elite expects inevitable reshuffles. According to the Financial Times, it is expected that President Vladimir Putin, after re-election for a new term, will submit for approval a new composition of the cabinet of ministers, which will provoke a behind-the-scenes struggle for power. Against the background of this struggle, at first it seemed that Shoigu's team was on the rise, which was facilitated by Russia's recent offensives in Ukraine and the death of field commander Yevgeny Prigozhin, who was the most ardent critic and rival of Shoigu. But the arrest of Ivanov, the highest-ranking official detained since 2016, marked a shift in Shoigu's fate, especially given the very noticeable way the deputy minister was brought to court. Putin esteems loyalty above all else. Shoigu has so far survived in his role despite setbacks in the first weeks of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, as well as the fact that the three-day special military operation has now dragged on into its third year. The Minister of Defense also withstood fierce criticism from the head of the Wagner private military company Yevgeny Prigozhin, who last year attempted a rebellion against Shoigu and other military leaders, the newspaper notes. But Putin, who is known to fear that any faction in his elite will gain too much power, seems to have concluded that the Kremlin needs to find a new way to balance Shoigu's center of power and the defense ministry, now that Prigozhin no longer plays that role, writes the Wall Street Journal citing one Moscow official. Ivanov's extravagant lifestyle, clearly beyond his official capabilities, made him an easy target. Putin doesn't really care about corruption. He needs a certain amount to make it happen. But there is a limit, one of the sources noted. Inevitably, in a clique where power is mostly distributed through patronage, people are sometimes on the wrong side of someone's anger said General James Hockenhall, head of the British Army's Strategic Command. As the war drags on, this cabal that seeks power and money is under increasing pressure, and sometimes someone is chosen to take the blame for what is happening.